today's video is going to be another how I dye, well no, not how I dye, how I bleach my hair at home. Um, so yeah, if you watch my previous video that I did like that, I did it, I think I uploaded it a month ago. And first of all, I want to say like a huge thank you to, first of all, everybody who watched that video, all my new subscribers, I'm so happy. Um, and I'm really happy that you enjoyed the video. Like I got so many positive comments on that, so thank you so much. Um, but yeah, I'm doing this again today. Um, so it's been, I believe it's been six or seven weeks maybe more like six weeks Anyways, I went to the beauty supply store um, I went to it in house which I did go there last time as well the second time I went and the girl recommended the wrong color yesterday when I went I showed the guy what my hair looked like when it was just bleached and he was like oh my gosh like you could have been like so much lighter because this is you know darker so I knew that I should have been like much lighter than you know I actually got now as I was washing my hair and I did use a clarifying shampoo yesterday so it did strip a bit of the color so the bleach that I got is light master from matrix the past two months <laughs> I've been watching so many how to dye your hair videos I've been dreaming about hair I've watched pretty much all the hair videos on YouTube I really like the girl I think it's like Jessie I'll link her channel down below like I really enjoy watching her videos and she's a professional so I believe she did use this I wanted to get the blonde me from Schwachkopf because apparently it has like a bonding thing in it but they didn't have it in stock and this was $38 but you get like a lot but for toners I got the very popular Wella T18 and T14 they have a couple different shades when I went yesterday to in and house they only had these two shades so these are the ones that I got but they're also the very popular ones on YouTube I was thinking of getting like a T27 and a T11 which is more of a beige blonde so the T14 is pale ash blonde and t18 is lightest ash blonde and then i got two developers developers i always say developer but it's developer anyways i got a 20 volume and a 10 volume i'm gonna use a 20 volume on my roots because i have gray hair gray hair is quite resistant and anyways usually you use a 20 volume to bleach but how but i'm actually gonna be using a 10 volume to bleach like my hair i'm so excited to bleach my hair like i have no idea I was on the phone with my friend. Huh? Why is good? But basically, I cut up some foils and then I mix my bleach with my 10 volume developer. So I want to use 10 volume on my ends just because my ends are already pretty lightened. I mean, they weren't lightened previously, um, and my hair is quite porous. So um, if your hair is dark, and you really want some lift i would not recommend using a 10 volume because it is the one of the lowest developers um so you're not going to get a lot of lift but um if your hair is already kind of damaged and porous and sort of close to what you want i would recommend a 10 volume um so yeah i just i did not measure the developer i just added a bit more so my my like bleach formula kind of is easier to work with because I feel like ne last time when I did my hair the bleach was really thick and it was kind of hard to work with uh, I'm doing the length of my hair but I'm not touching my roots um, because the roots will develop faster well will lift faster because it's closer to your scalp and the heat of your scalp will speed up the process Yeah, the reason why I'm using foils is because um, it keeps like the heat incubation. The heat, I don't know. So the the hair is just gonna process a bit more evenly. Also, the bleach won't dry up. I broke my favorite freaking clip. <laughs> it's the only clip I have actually. So here it's starting to be like a little darker, some pieces. So I'm gonna make sure to saturate my hair really, really well. Last time my eyes were running so bad because the bleach was extremely, extremely strong. This bleach doesn't really smell. So, I mean, it smells, but I'm not dying. I think I'm gonna go for like a drink with my friend tonight. So my hair better turn out nice. <laughs> Okay, 
Okay, so now I'm just taking some 20 volume with the bleach. And this is gonna be for my roots. Bye, Zach! Bonne soirée! Yeah, well. Come here. I know, huh? So, let's start with here. Because as I said, I do have some gray hair. So, I'm trying to have this really, really well saturated. So, for this part, it's going to be hard for me to film. Because I'm going to need my little mirror. If you are doing your hair by yourself, you definitely need a little mirror like that. Usually like I'm used to doing like my brown hair by myself and usually I'm like super messy but with bleach like you have to be careful not to get it on your skin too much. I feel like I'm gonna be really blonde. I don't think I'm ready for this. Like, I feel like the perimeters of your face is like the most important part of, of your face, of your hair. Make sure you do that before going like section by section. Okay, I think I got everything. I'm gonna put this. It's just for like my roots, honestly. I'm gonna go in the shower in 10 minutes. Okay, so I'm back. This is my hair. <laughs> um, it's getting late, so I'm losing the natural light. This lighting. So this is kind of the color. I definitely think I got lighter than last time my roots are not so bad they're not like super light i did miss a few spots though when i was doing my roots um like right here <laughs> it looks way worse on camera it's not as bad in real life i would not recommend doing your roots like i did because it was really hard to do so now for toner i'm using these two so these are the wella color charm but your hair has to be like a light color is the t18 it looks like that t14 so basically you need one toner for two parts developed so i'm gonna fill this up four times and i'm using 20 volume <laughs> i hope i'm gonna have enough if not i'm gonna use a bit of 10 volume so this is what it looks like i can't show you too much because it's very liquidy so you have to mix it until it becomes purple like a purplish color so i'm just gonna do the roots first I think I need to be working pretty fast with this. Oh. Okay, so I'm sorry my camera ran out of batteries, but basically I just did half. I've been using gloves and at first like I was really discouraged. <laughs> I really didn't know how I was going to do that, but yeah, it's pretty easy with gloves. Um, gotta work pretty fast for that next section. Okay, so I have some toner left, which I'm really surprised. Um, so what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna make sure everything is saturated, so I'm gonna massage. Wanna make sure I have toner everywhere. My scalp as well. Um, so some people leave on their toners for like five minutes, two minutes. Some people leave it on for 20, but I, We'll leave it on until all the pieces are purple. Okay, so I'm gonna put a plastic bag over my head. Okay. Hi guys, so this is my new hair. So it actually looks so much better with natural lighting and I will like, post the footage a little bit on the screen as I speak so you can see what my hair actually looks like 
in the natural light. Basically, um, you just watch, you know, the whole process of me bleaching my hair um, and then toning it. So after I tone my hair, I, I, you know, rinse the toner, I wash my hair, I condition my hair, and my hair felt terrible. Like, it felt really, really bad, so dry. Even my hair, like here, it just felt horrible. The color was not good. When I was rinsing my hair, I was like, oh my gosh, I'm like this really pretty, like, light ash blonde it's so pretty but then my hair was like yellow <laughs> when i got out the shower and i finished drying my hair it was really yellow i actually did not go out that night i was way too tired and my hair looked horrible but mainly i was tired on monday i actually had to do like some work i had to do some insta stories for brands i was working with so i had to work with the hair that i had so i washed my hair again my mom gave me like a really nice blowout she's really good at blowouts i'm not that great um so anyway she made my hair look nice my hair was like a very like light it was so pale i just felt like at my roots my hair was so pale i felt like the girl in like game of thrones i don't watch that show because i can't stand the lighting and just it's not really my my type of thing it just looked like i was going to a halloween party I feel like my my old hair you know that, <laughs> that i had like last month it was still wearable this was not wearable to me i really didn't like it i think the wella toners first of all they did not do that much on me um i did a very bad Bad job at bleaching actually like it was very uneven and the porosity of my hair was very uneven as well so maybe that had something to do with like the way the toner worked it really did not work on my hair <laughs> at all so I'm not saying the Willa toners aren't gonna work so many people use them on YouTube and so many people seem to love them didn't really work on me and it made my hair feel so dry maybe it's because i use a little bit of the 10 volume developer because i ran out of 20 volume still feel like toners usually sh should work with a 10 volume i knew i needed a haircut because my hair at the bottom felt so thin it was not nice so i followed this hair salon on instagram they seem to do really good work so i was like you know i'm gonna go with them i really wanted to go to a good salon because I don't trust a lot of people with my hair. <laughs> I like doing my hair myself because I like the process, but also because I don't really trust a whole lot of people. I feel like if I'm gonna be disappointed, I'd rather be disappointed in myself and learn along the way. So I was like, you know, I'm gonna go to a good salon. The salon is called Victor Victor, so it's in Gatineau. It's right next to, I mean, it's close to Les Promenades. They are pretty busy, so they were fully booked for like a month for like a color that's what i wanted originally i was like you know i'm just gonna get like a color on top of that not too dark but like a level nine ish color and you know that'll be good they were booked for you know color toners and everything so i just got a spot for a haircut so i walked in with my yellow hair i actually had to go to school with that hair i put it in a bun and i really didn't want people to see because <laughs> it was looking so bad so the girl the, the girl the stylist that did my hair is actually the owner or the co-owner because i believe there are two owners for that salon so her name is isabel so she did a toner on my hair <laughs> um they didn't really have any like spots available for that but she made time to tone my hair which i really appreciated so yeah the toner she used so i i eventually like told her i made videos because i i asked for the name of the toner i was like you know i'm documenting my hair change so could i please know the toner she used a l'oreal professional dia light 9.12 now so i was like able to lift my hair to like a level nine with toners what it's gonna do is only gonna change the tone of your hair it's not gonna like deposit color or anything it's not like a color so it works with the tone you already have so you know i ended up with this color well first of all she told me she mixed a couple different ones she didn't like write them all down just because she mixed like a few because all my hair was like different colors <laughs> first of all but you know it came out that color because of the yellow kind of hair i had before so a toner is gonna look different on everybody depending on the hair you're starting with she just wanted to like tone my hair to make it more wearable which the color is definitely more wearable it actually looks a lot lighter in daylight and pictures and stuff um it's just for some reason on video it doesn't look that like what i said for my haircut i was like you know i know we're probably uh, 
beige mix for you. You know I was going to lose a lot of length, but I didn't want like all the same layer for my hair because a couple years back when I had short hair, it was all the same length and it was really bulky at the end, which I really didn't like. I feel like I have, I mean, I don't personally feel like I have a lot of hair, but apparently I have a lot of hair. It's not super thick, but it, I don't think it's super fine. And like I really didn't want my layers to start too high because then like the bottom layers look super thin. I really didn't want that so I was like you know I just want like body and movement in my hair I don't want super short layers and I don't want all my hair to be the same length so basically um, I have like right here like little layers but I think she did those last and basically she said that when my hair is straight you're not really gonna see the layers but it's gonna lay really well like it's not gonna be like super bulky at the end and actually like the first last week when I got it done I had just my hair like blow dried it was straight and I actually really really liked it it like my hair looks really good like it was this length it was kind of short but I actually really really liked it um I did post a picture in my insta stories and I got so many sweet comments so thank you so much so I'll post that here and then for the back of my hair she did want to like cut my hair in a V shape which I'm really happy about sometimes I feel like it can make your hair look very like thin at the end which I didn't want and I don't want my hair to be like super bulky either so she gave me like a rounded cut so, of course the color is not where it needs to be yet but it will get there I am using purple shampoo right now I'm using the one from L'Oreal professional the silver one my dad is just using that one because he has gray hair well white hair so I've just been using that one I could probably still use the matrix brass off which I did a whole video about that line but it is a bit more blue based and so if I mix some blue with some yellow that I need to counteract it could turn green I don't want that so for now I'm using the one from L'Oreal um, it's great, I really don't think it dries out my hair. I used it only once because I only washed my hair once so far. So there's that. So my hair color I think will get better as I use the purple shampoo. Um, I already have another appointment booked for in November. I think what I want is like some low lights and highlights on my roots. So my natural roots, so my gray hair and my brown hair blend in really nicely. So I think that's gonna be next. And maybe like some lighter pieces at the bottom because I did not lighten all my hair evenly i am really happy with this so yeah if you're looking for a great salon honestly i really recommend them like i've never been this happy going to a salon i am very happy with my hair i'm really happy with the way it all turned out you know if you want to do your hair by yourself i would say go for it i did mess up but like it's not so bad i was able to fix it of course i needed a bit of help but i don't think it was so bad um so if you want to do your hair i encourage you and then if you want to get it done professionally i really recommend big toffee Daw. they're a really great salon i've been talking for a very long time so thank you so much for watching this video all the details will be listed down below i also want to say thank you to all my new subscribers thank you so much for joining my channel um i hope you're enjoying my video so far and if you're new and watching this video i hope you subscribe and yeah you can follow me on instagram at chloe zidori um and yeah i will see you very soon